Hey guys, welcome back to Montevue. Today we're going to be giving you a full tutorial on how to factory reset your Montevue NVR. A factory reset is generally considered a last resort option when it comes to troubleshooting, but every once in a while we think it's necessary because there are just some issues and glitches with these NVRs that are, although they're very uncommon to happen, when they do it can be pretty frustrating. And so a factory reset is the ultimate option to fix those problems. So there are two ways to factory reset any Montevue NVR. One of them is to go in through the actual NVR interface on the display, and then there are actual options to digitally reset your NVR. Now this does require that you know the password to the device. And so sometimes that presents a problem because there are quite a few of you that actually forgot or forget your passwords. So, in that case, there is a way to physically reset the NVR. And so we're gonna go over both of those options in this video. And so you guys are squared away and can fix your guys' systems. Wanna take a moment here to remind you guys to like and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out tremendously with analytics and letting you guys know when we're dropping new content for the channel. So hit that like and subscribe button, it is much appreciated. Thank you guys. So the first step with the digital version is we're actually going to log into the main menu of the NVR through the NVR display. So to do that, simply right click anywhere on the screen and choose main menu. And then it's gonna ask you to either type in your password or to enter your pass key. Once you guys have entered your password, then we're gonna go into the main menu and we're gonna select maintain. Once we're in the maintain menu, we're gonna look left and we're gonna find manager. And once we've clicked on manager, we're gonna see these tabs on the top and we're gonna choose the default tab. Now, once we're in the default tab screen, we're gonna see the option for factory reset. Now you may see an option for just a standard default. This isn't quite the same thing. That's really just defaulting these settings. What we want is a total factory reset. So that's what we're gonna choose. Back in my tech support days, I would always have my customers unplug their cameras from the back of the NVR while the NVR is being reset. Now this isn't a time thing, you don't have to do it before it comes back on. But in general, I like to initialize the NVR without anything attached to it. That way I know I'm dealing with just the NVR and no additional problems. So in my recommendation, once you guys actually hit this factory reset button, or if you guys do the factory reset on the display menu, go ahead and unplug your cameras for the time being. If you guys wanna remember a specific channel or port that these cameras belong in, make sure you mark the cables before unplugging them from the back of the NVR. And for those of you with the newest firmware, it should ask you for a password at this point. And here's where most people sometimes get stopped, and that is where you would need to know the password in order to proceed. So if you guys know the password, go ahead and punch it in for the NVR and hit okay, and you'll actually see it start to reset. Now that the NVR is back and powered up, we are going to start the initialization process. So the first screen is pretty simple. It's going to ask us the location. The vast majority of you should choose United States. Then it's gonna ask you for your preferred language. And then of course the video standard. Now, if you guys are in the United States, it should automatically change the video standard to NTSC. However, if you guys are in Europe, you're gonna to wanna to use the PAL or PAL video standard. All right, last thing on this page is we're gonna deal with time settings. So first of all, we definitely wanna set our time zone first. So you're gonna see me, I'm gonna be choosing mountain time, that's Montana. And then after I choose the time zone, I'm gonna make sure that the time is correct for my region, which it already is, so I'm good here. Then finally, I'm gonna look at DST, this stands for daylight savings time. And I'm just gonna leave this off. Now this does depend region by region if your state adheres to these laws. But if you guys wanna set up a daylight savings time schedule right here, this would be the place to do it. However, personally, I find it easier just to jump on my NVR and change the time twice a year. It's not too difficult. And hopefully if we're lucky enough, daylight savings time will be a thing of the past here pretty soon. Finally, you're gonna see this online update option. If it's blue, that means it's active and your NVR will be qualified to automatically update over the online process. And if it's gray, that means it's gonna require that you manually search for the updates when they're available. So now that we got that, let's go hit next. And it's gonna ask you for a password. Now, for those of you that knew your password for your NVR, this is imperative that you use your exact same password as you were using before. This is because your cameras are embedded with that old password. Each individual camera holds that password. 
And so right now, if you choose to change your NVR's password, they will no longer sync up and all of your cameras will say username or password incorrect. For those of you that forgot your password, go ahead and just put one in and we'll have to just factory reset those cameras when we get everything established. Next, it's gonna ask you for a pattern. Now this is totally optional. You guys don't even have to have a pattern and it does not have to be the exact same pattern as it was last time. You guys can make a new one if you'd like. The next screen is gonna have us put in an email and a list of security questions. This is to recover your password in case it's ever forgotten in the future. Keep in mind the NVR questions take a long time to enter in. So here I'm gonna advise you guys just to turn this little switch from blue to gray. That way we don't have to deal with that long process of answering those questions. And if you guys want, you can pop in an email here. If you choose to go without the email or security questions, in the future when you guys go to reset your password, it will simply just ask you for an email at that time. And the next screen here, we are choosing our internet options. Now I would recommend everyone click on DHCP. Basically it makes it so your NVR finds the router IP address automatically and it assigns itself one that is going to work with your system. If you guys know what you're doing, you can manually set an IP address here. Uh, but for most of you, just choose DHCP, keep it easy on yourselves and go ahead and hit next. Now these next few screens are not really pertinent to what we're trying to do. And so often when you guys call, I basically rush you through these next screens because we don't really need them. So that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. Go ahead and just blast that next button until we see the message, thank you for purchasing our product. Once you guys see this, go ahead and click okay. Now we're at the point where we can take those cameras and start plugging them into the back of the NVR. So in this case, once you guys get your cameras plugged in, your direct NVR cameras are plug and play. So if you guys got that password correct and it matches up with your cameras, they should pop up automatically right away. And just remember, whichever port you're plugging it into is what channel it's going to be in. Port five, channel five, port seven, channel seven. Keep in mind though, that because we did a factory reset on your NVR, there are a few settings that we have to go back in and reestablish. Now, anything associated with the cameras, typically like your tripwire uh, or your schedules associated with those motions, those are actually saved in the camera itself. So those settings, you won't have to readjust. The two things that you will definitely need to go take a look at are your motion settings. If you guys are just using standard motion detect, you're gonna wanna go back in the main menu, then alarm, then video detection, and make sure that those cameras are still enabled for motion. The next thing you'll wanna do is if you guys have an altered recording schedule, by default, the NVRs are gonna record everything 24 seven. But if you guys had an adjusted schedule where maybe you were recording just on motion only or tripwires, then you're gonna to wanna to go into storage, schedule, and then go ahead and reestablish those schedules for your cameras. Lastly, if you guys did have any cameras that were on a PoE switch coming in from a network, you're gonna to wanna to reestablish those using the camera list. So we're gonna to go to main menu, camera, and then we're gonna do a new search, find all your guys' cameras on your list, and then go ahead and add them back in. Now, just like the registration video says, make sure you guys add all of your NVR cameras first. This is because they will occupy those ports, and if you bring in a camera from the network on, the, say, port one, and then you try to plug in a camera to port one, there's nowhere for it to go. That camera just simply won't exist. So make sure you do your direct NVR cameras first, then go ahead and take care of your network cameras after. All right, now we're gonna show you guys how to physically reset your NVR. So this is different depending on which type of NVR you have. If you have the black NVR, then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna unscrew the four screws from the back of the NVR, and we're gonna take the entire top off. Now, as you'll see, once we can see the inside of the NVR, we're gonna find this little black button that is based in the motherboard just over here to the left side. And to reset the NVR, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna turn it off using the power switch in the back. Then you're gonna hold that button down and you're gonna turn your NVR back on. Once you've turned your NVR back on, keep holding that button and you're gonna hear a very long beep emit from the NVR. At this point, you know that the factory reset has taken place and you guys can go ahead and let go of that button. The whole process generally takes about 10 to 15 seconds. And then the actual NVR power up might take anywhere from two to three minutes. Once it comes back up, again, it should look like it's being turned on for the very first time and you're ready to initialize it. 
the white NVRs. Now what you're gonna have to do for these ones is you're actually gonna have to turn them upside down. Once you've got them flipped, there are four screws at each corner that you're gonna have to undo. And essentially this entire NVR comes apart. The entire top comes off. So once you're inside, again, just like the other one, you're gonna look on the motherboard and you're gonna see this little tiny black button. And since the white NVRs don't have a power switch, what you're gonna to wanna to do is just go ahead and unplug the power from the back. Then you're gonna hold that button down and then plug that power back in. We're gonna wait for a long beep. It should only take about 10 to 15 seconds. And then after the beep is done, go ahead and let go of the button and the NVR will reestablish itself and ask for you to initialize it once it's back and turned on. All right, guys, that is all the info I have for your NVR factory reset. Now, at the end of this, after you guys get everything initialized and back online, if you guys are still missing some cameras due to a password conflict, it's likely that you'll have to just factory reset those cameras. We do have a video showing you guys how to do that with every single type of Montague camera. I will post the link in the description below and I'll put a link up in the corner here. As always, I appreciate you guys checking out our videos. If you guys have any questions on this process or any other Montview product, feel free to give tech support or sales a call. We are here Monday through Friday for you guys. Take care and thank you for choosing Montview.